today I'm going to look at graduated mask, um, an effect that is in Final Cut Pro. And what essentially it does is it gradually masks the uh, clip, or say in this example, I've got two clips, one on top of the other, and it's, um, it's adding transparency between the two clips. I'll just quickly show you what it's like uh, as a default. Um, so I've got this clip selected, it doesn't have a mask on it. If you come to the effects panel and you uh, slide over the graduated mask, so as you can see, only the top half is showing and then it gradually... So I've added a graduated mask to all these uh, top clips here. And then I have changed um, the position of the mask and the amount um, using keyframes and this slider here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all the masks on these top clips and I'll show you how I did it. So now I don't have any masks on the top clips. So if I play this through, all you're going to see is the top clips playing through as normal. So what I want to do is I want to create a bit of transparency between the top clip and the bottom clip, okay? So what I'm going to use is the graduated mask. So I'm going to uh, click on the graduated mask and apply it to the top clip. Now this has a graduated mask applied to the top clip. As you can see here in the um, inspector, you can see graduated mask and the settings for it. So if I play this through, you'll be able to see how it's gradually transparent between the two clips. So you can see the top half here is this top clip playing through and then the bottom half of the clip here is actually this bottom clip that you're seeing. Okay, so I'll quickly play that and I'll show you. What I want to do is, I don't want to keep it as that, I want to make it more of a split screen. So how you do that is you click on the top clip, the one with the mask on it, and it's got these two little tabs here, these two circles here. So the top one here, if you slide this up, if you slide this up and down, as you can see, it moves the whole mask. Okay, so this is what this is doing is it's moving the center of the mask, and this, and you can see this here on the effects uh, inspector. So as I move, you'll see the position of the center changing, okay? And then this one here, the bottom one, that is the target, okay? So the closer to the center, the less of a mask. So you see how it becomes nice and it's just a straight line? The more further away from the center, it becomes more uh, transparent and it becomes more graduated okay so you can change this the amount of the mask that is being used so if you have it at zero if I play this through you can see that what you're seeing is only the top clip and zero percent of this mask is being used so it doesn't matter where you position the mask nothing's going to happen if it's at zero if you slowly bring it out of zero and towards a hundred you'll slowly begin to actually um, bring this mask into effect, okay? And then from there, you want to use uh, the two the two position tabs here um, to change where you want the mask. So with this one, this mask, I want it to become more of a split screen. So what I'm gonna do is uh, you bring this, so you bring the bottom one, the bottom one, the, the target, you bring that around so you can do this at 360, so I'm doing a 360 here. And I'm going to bring it around to about there. And then you want to bring the center, this one here. You want to bring this down. So that becomes zero, zero. That's the center. But because I've got the mask on, where it actually becomes transparent and fade is not actually center. So I'm just going to move this a little slightly off center until I about there, and that's about center. If I play this through now, you'll see it's pretty much just a split screen, okay? You can see that there's still a bit of this uh, top clip, the one with the mask. You can still see a bit of it on the left hand side. That's because the amount is at 80. So if I bring this closer to 100, you'll slowly see it disappear. And if I bring it to 100, that brings a nice um, smooth transition. And then if you want to create it more or less of a transition, you just need to slide this, which is the target, either left or right. 
So if I bring this right in towards the center, see how it creates pretty much a straight line. If I bring it to the left, it's gonna create more of a gradual uh, mask. Okay, what I've done there is all I've done is added a graduated mask to the top clip, and then I've changed the um, center and so the center and the target points, um, creating this effect. Okay, so how I actually how you can get it to move that's using the keyframes. Okay, so the keyframes on the target and the center. So I'm going to add some keyframes to the mask, and I'll show you how you can move the mask around as playing a clip also. I'm going to start with it here and I'm going to add a keyframe to the target and the center. So click on the keyframe and click on the keyframe. So that's added keyframes now to the target and center and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in to about there on my clip and when I get to there I'm going to change the center point. Okay, I'm going to move it slowly to the left. Okay, keeping it on that center line is ideally what I'm wanting. So I'm going to let it go there. Okay, that's added a keyframe there. So what it's going to do is from the start here to this position, it's going to move the mask from the center here towards the left. Okay, to this position. So I'll play this through now and you'll be able to see that the mask will slowly move from the center here towards the left okay to the keyframe that I created here so I'll quickly play it through you can see it slowly moving and then when it gets to that keyframe it stops and then it just keeps playing the clip so the top clip is mostly in the shot um, and then this little bit on the left here is the bottom clip so what I'll do is I'm going to add keyframes and I'm going to go across to about here and I'm going to slowly bring this back to about here and now that is showing the bottom clip so now it's going to go it's going to move the mask to the left and when it gets to this keyframe it's going to start to come back to the right to where this final keyframe was okay and you'll see this effect so I'll play that through so it gets to that keyframe now it's going to come back to the right and display the bottom clip that's those two clips there with that graduated mask. So let's take the next two clips for example. So I have the helicopter taking off here and the bottom clip here is in the cockpit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a graduated mask to the top clip. What I'm going to do is I am going to have it slightly on a split screen. Okay, I'm going to bring the amount out about to here. I'm going to have the center point about here okay and that looks pretty good so essentially all I've done there is created another split screen so you can see so what I want to do with this is as the helicopter goes up I want to slowly fade out the cockpit um, and just bring in more of the helicopter shot the top shot so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use keyframes again so keyframes are very handy and you'll use them in uh, a lot of the effects. I want it to be about split screen up until about, about there. So I'm gonna press space and stop it there. Now from here onwards, I want this top clip to become more of the main clip and I want this bottom clip to slowly fade out or gradually um, become more transparent. So what you wanna do, or, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on keyframes here, click and click. So now what I will do is I'm going to go to the end of the clip and then I'm going to use this one here, the target, and I'm going to bring it closer to the right and I'm increasing it away from the, the uh, center point. And as you can see, it's slowly becoming more transparent and more gradual um, away from the center point. It's still kind of in the shot and I want it to be even more out of the shot. So now I'm just going to move the center a little bit away as well from the helicopter. And you can see now it's even getting more faded. Okay, and that's added keyframes now. So what it's going to do is from the keyframe I set at the, the middle here, it's going to go from the center to all the way fading out to the right. So as you can see, uh, when it gets to about the middle, 
it's the the bottom clip is slowly going to fade out and become more transparent and the upper clip is becoming more in the shot so it's gradually fading out like that so that's cool it's a cool little effect so if you like this video then please like or um, subscribe to my channel uh, comment leave a comment if you have any ideas then uh, chuck them through and yeah I'll be glad to help